So you just want to make distortions, not a problem. Real quick, I learned how to do this from Code Like Me, so definitely check him out if you want to see a more in-depth explanation about this. But basically, if you have a simple black and white ring made from Photoshop, you can turn it into a distortion by right-clicking, create a new material, name it, open it, change blend mode to translucent, hold M and left click twice to get two multiply nodes, hold T and left click to get a texture node, right click and get a particle color, and then right click again to get a Fresnel. And then set refraction to something like 0 0.001. Then set texture to your image, drag R into A, then that into base color, and then R into the second A. And that into the Fresnel, and that into refraction, and finally RGB into B, alpha into B, and multiply into opaque. Capacity. Apply, save, right click, create a Niagara system, start with the fountain, plus, finish, name it, open it, delete shape location, delete velocity, delete gravity, delete drag, and add a scale sprite size. Set target sim to GPU and bounds to fix for performance. Under state, set loop duration to 2 and spawn rate to 1. And under initialize particle, set lifetime to direct and 2 to match our loop. Set sprite size to uniform and make it something big like 600. And finally, under renderer, set it to your donut sprite and change alignment to velocity. You're done. Congratulations, you now have a distortion. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a Fantastic day, and I'll see you around.